back to another episode of House to Home. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you an update on the living room and the foyer. So I decided to do a little bit of revamping to this area. As most of you know, we moved into this house probably almost a year ago, um, May of last year. So it took me a little bit of getting used to the space to figure out exactly what I wanted to do in here. And I know when I posted my original um, living room and four year tour, there were so many people who were opinionated about how I had certain things. But what you have to realize is it can take so long to decorate a new space. So pretty much I was just working with the things that I already had from my old place and I didn't just wanna go out and purchase a whole bunch of new stuff because for me, I like to just kinda wait and purchase those special pieces that I know are really going to just be unique in my home and just the things that I really just won't because if you just go buy stuff because you want to fill up your space then you're gonna be unhappy with the things that you buy so um that's pretty much what i did in this area and it took me a couple of months to kind of get it down and figure out exactly what we wanted but i feel like we've almost perfected it so i wanted to update you guys and also for those of you who have maybe moved into a new house or an apartment don't rush when decorating your space because it definitely takes time. So um, yeah, we have a lot of new pieces in this space, um, a new sofa, some new um, artwork, um, just a few different things. So I wanted to share with you guys and we're going to go ahead and jump into it. So I'm starting off with the four year, which is definitely still a work in progress. But if you have watched the first four year and living room tour, then you know we've changed a few things. So one thing we decided to change was the chandelier and this is from overstock and then i also added a little side table from pier one and a full length mirror that we also got from pier one and then the decorative vase with the flowers in it this is also from pier one as well and i absolutely love that vase and the side table is a part of the Hayworth collection. So the foyer is pretty much like the little Hayworth room because I have another piece on the other side also from that collection. And the rug that you see here, um, I actually had this rug um, in the last video, but I'm thinking about changing it, but it's from Rugs USA. And on this side, I still wanna add a piece of artwork above this little dresser. But for now, this is what we have going on. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep the dresser there, but um, yeah, that's the updates for the foyer. Here's our living room if you're coming in from the foyer through the front door. So my overall goal with this space was to really fill up the area because this is a fairly big living room. I also wanted to make it more comfortable and cozy while still keeping that glamorous touch that I really love. As you guys can tell, we got a new sofa, which is the focal point of the living room. And we love this sofa so much. So we actually purchased it from Rooms To Go. I love, love, love their furniture. And as you guys can see, it is huge. It is a very, very huge sectional. Now, um, this original sectional did come with a lot of different pillows, but the pillows were yellow and gray I think and it just really didn't fit my style so I decided to add these from Z Gallery and I just really love the glamorous look that it added to um, you know just an ordinary sectional. <music> started shopping for a new sofa we knew for sure that we wanted a sectional we knew we wanted it to be u-shaped and we wanted it to be very very big um but we just really couldn't find too many that we really liked um so when we went to rooms to go we noticed that they had like um a build your sectional option so if you guys notice each piece a part of the sectional is separate and you pretty much just push it together and you can make any shape you'd like so if we want to change the shape of the sectional to like a normal left side sectional or a right hand sectional, then we can do that because each piece of the sectional is 
separate. And if you want this sectional, then you have to go into stores to buy. Like, you cannot purchase it online. So, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know. But we absolutely love this. It is so amazingly comfortable. And it's just great for cuddling up on the sofa. And it's really great if you have a big family because it has a lot of space, obviously. <laughs> So the coffee table is another piece that I was super duper excited about adding to the space. I have wanted this coffee table for a few months now and I was able to save my coins and finally get it and I absolutely love it. It is definitely unique and it's also glamorous. It's very big um, so it doesn't take up too much space in this area but just enough and I just love it so much. Um, I actually purchased it from a way fair and it's beautiful you guys it's even more beautiful in person and I don't like to keep too much on the coffee table so I just have a candle a flower in the middle um, some books like some little home books and then also um, these little goblets that I think I got from Ross and if you guys are wondering about the rug, we purchased it when we got our sectional. So it is from Rooms to Go and I love it so much. It's so soft and it doesn't shed like our other shag rug, which is why I got rid of it because it sheds so much. But I love this one. It's so soft and Piglet loves to lay on it too. I also added a piece of artwork over Piglet's bed and I love the design in it. It goes very well with the curtains and then also the pillows that we have on the couch. It's just a really beautiful piece and this is from Pier 1. And of course I wanted Piglet's bed to kind of match the sectional and I found this one at Wayfair and it's so cute. I love it. It has little diamond studs. It's really, really nice. So I also decided to change the curtains and I got these from TJ Maxx. So I decided to double up the ones on the side. So I used two panels on each side and I love the print on these. It's kind of like a paisley print, but I did decide to go with a gray color because I'm obsessed with gray. And then in the middle, I just did white shears. And I really like the um, side tables that we had in the living room, so I kept them the same, and these are from Wayfair.com. Here's a view of the living room if you're standing towards the back coming in from the dining room area. Um, as you guys can tell, I added these little club chairs um, on each side of the fireplace. Now these were actually in um, the living room previously, so I thought this would be a really great place to put them instead of getting rid of them, so I really love them there. And as you guys can tell, I've started adding a few pieces to the shelves. Um, now nothing here is permanent, but I'm definitely, you know, trying to work with it and figure out what I want to do here. It is a work in pro progress for me because I don't just want to throw things up there and I don't want it to look cluttered. But, um, yeah, this is just what we have going on on each side. So, um, yeah, still a work in pro progress, but I'm definitely getting there. I'm getting more comfortable adding stuff without it being cluttered. And here's a closer view of the white club chair, which is from Overstock. Um, and I just added this cute little um, sparkly silver pillow. On the back wall of the living room, I still have my mirror from um, Z Gallery. Um, this is the Axis mirror and I love it so much. And I just added my little ottoman back here. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna add anything else for now. I'm pretty satisfied with this being back there because it gives us additional seating. Um, but yeah, I just um, moved the little buffet that we had back here and it is actually in our dining room area. Um, but I just wanted to keep the mirror here because it just has so much personality a lot of people thought that I should move it to the foyer but I just feel like this is too grand of a piece to be in such a small space so that concludes 
the update on the living room and the foyer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My next house to home video should be the kitchen update and reveal. I know a lot of you have been waiting on it. We're waiting on a couple of more pieces and it will be pretty much complete for now. So that should be my next one. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye. To another episode of house to home so in this video I'm going to be sharing with you an update on the living room and the foyer so I decided to do a little bit of revamping to this area as most of you know we moved into this house probably almost a year ago um, May of last year so it took me a little bit of getting used to the space to figure out exactly what I wanted to do in here and I know when I posted my original um, living room and foyer tour there were so many people who were opinionated about how I had certain things 